movies. Go ahead and take a seat. We're going to sit up nice and tall, come towards the edge of our seats so that we have that nice upright posture, get a little bit of space in between our feet. Um, we're going to start with just taking some deep breaths in, bringing our arms overhead, pausing at that top, and then exhaling as we come down. So getting that nice upright posture, elongation of the spine. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, good. And we'll start with a uh, range of motion at our neck, looking up at the ceiling and then alternating in between looking down at the ground. We'll alternate until we get to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then uh, looking over our right shoulder from a neutral position. We'll do five on that side and then we'll switch to the left. One, two, three, four, and five, and then switch into the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we'll do some shoulder shrugs with circles backwards, five backwards, and then we'll switch it and do five forward. So we shrug up, squeezing the shoulder blades together in the back. One, two, three, four, and five, and then opposite. One, two, three, four, and five. Opening up at the chest, um, we'll start with hands facing towards us, and then we're going to open up nice and wide into that field goal position and back in. We'll do five here, two, three, four, and five. Good. Next, um, some flutter wrists. So I'm going to start with both arms extended out straight. One hand's going to point up towards the ceiling. The opposite hand's going to point down towards the ground. And we'll alternate till 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Uh, next, we're going to come down to the ground, leaning forward towards the ground as far as we can, sitting up tall and bringing our arms up nice and tall. We'll do 10 here. We're going to reaching down and up. One, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Good. Um, next, we'll go with forward. So reaching forward as far as we can. When we sit up nice and tall, we're going to do a row. 
um, that mid row. So we'll do 10 here as well. So reaching forward and squeezing in between the shoulder blades. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and good. Um, next, we'll do some seated cat cows here. Uh, we'll do just five. So we're gonna round at the spine and then you're gonna sit up nice and tall. And when you sit up tall, you're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades and the chest comes out. So I'll show you from the side as well. So I'm rounding one vertebrae at a time and then sitting up nice and tall. Good. All right, we'll do five here. Coming down and up, that's one. And down, up, two, down, and up, three. Four, and five, good. Um, next we'll go into our power up. So we'll do, um, we'll do five here. I'm gonna bring my hands to my thighs. My chest is gonna come down and I'm gonna push up big and fast and open with the, uh, my arms at the side. All right, we'll do five here. Down, or up, one, down, two, down, three, down, four, and down, five, good. Next, we're gonna do our, um, our power rock. So again, power rocks are good for weight shifting. So I'm gonna bring all my weight heavy onto one side, the opposite leg's gonna kick out, the opposite arm's gonna come up towards the ceiling and my head is gonna look up at my hand. And then you'll switch sides, same thing, opposite side, and let's alternate to 10. Down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, Um, okay. Uh, next, we're going to do some crossbody reaches. So with this one, when you reach to the side, I'm going to bring my right arm across my body to the left and reach. And I want you to turn at the waist, turn at the hip as we move into that direction there. And we're going to alternate till 10, okay? So turning one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next we'll do our power step. Um, we'll do one on our five on the right side and then we'll switch and do five on the left side. So with this one, I'm doing a big step out to the side and then that big step back into the center. So power out, one, two, 
three, four, and five, and then switching sides. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Uh, warming up at the feet and ankles. Um, we are going to go into um, bringing our toes up from the ground. I'm sorry, our heels up and our toes up. So alternating until we get to 10. So coming with the heels up from the ground. That's one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Last one we'll do is our marching with our arm swing. Um, with this one, we'll alternate until we get to ten. So I'm going to take that big exaggerated swing with my arm as I bring the opposite leg up. One, two, and try to sit up tall with this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. All right, everybody. So um, we have two sets today. Um, with each exercise, uh, with each exercise, we'll spend a minute in them. We'll have 30 seconds to rotate into the next exercise in between. Um, and we'll do each exercise twice. So we'll do each circuit of exercises twice. Um, the first series is going to be in a seated um, position. It's going to focus more on our abdominal muscles and then postural muscles. Um, and then the second series will be in standing. All right. So we'll go through those exercises in sitting. So this first one are, are seated crunches. You can do with or without weights if you want an extra challenge. You can have the weights here on your chest, add a little bit more resistance, um, but we're going to come forward and then back into the chair, trying not to use that backrest. So I'll show you what it looks like from the side. So I'm scooching forward onto the front of my chair, and then I'm going to come slightly in that forward direction. And I'm going to lean back, keeping those um, abdominal muscles engaged, not letting myself slump or lean back onto the chair rest, and then forward. Okay. So that will be the first one. Um, the second one, we have eye pulls. So in that seated position with our weights, we're pulling up high. I will say hi. Um, of weights in towards our, our armpits. So we'll do those for a minute. Then we have flutter click kicks, again, more abdominal muscles. Um, with this one, again, this, the further back that you lean, the more challenging it's gonna feel. Um, you can also brace with the side here. I'm gonna bring my legs out as I lean back and I'm gonna cross them. If that feels too much, I can also just do up and down in this position. So again, I'll show you what that looks like from the side. So I'm not using that backrest as I come back, but I am supporting a little bit with my hands here. And then from this position here, I can crisscross, or if that's too much, I can do just my flutters. I can always stop and give myself a break and then go back into it. Okay. Um, the last one, Do also with or without your weights, whatever you need to feel challenged. Um, I'm going to start with my arms crossed into this position here and a slight bend in my elbow. And then I'm going to uncross as I come up and open up nice and wide and then back down. So think about it's that same motion if you're taking off your shirt at the end of the night. Um, and then with this one, we're looking to get that nice tall posture. All right. 
All right, well, if we're ready, we'll get started first with those um, seated crunches. So scooching forward, and like I said, if you want a little added um, resistance, you can use the hand weights at the chest. Okay. And we take them off. So on that forward position, leaning back. Good. And you should definitely feel this in those tummy muscles. Try to keep the feet planted on the ground and the back in a neutral position. So try not to let that back arch as you're in that back position, this backwards position here. We're halfway there. And with this one again, the slower we do it, the more challenging it's going to feel. Good. Last 10 seconds. All right. So in a moment here, we'll go into those high pulls. So think about with this one, if we were putting on our pants, pulling up in that direction. And we'll take off in about 10 seconds. Good, pulling up. We want to be, it's okay if we're faster on that up. We want to be slow on the way back down. So gravity is going to bring the arms back down to that um, starting position. The way that we know that the muscles are doing the work is if it's slow and controlled as we lower. Good. Halfway there. Good. Last 10 seconds. Good. All right. I'm getting ready. For those um, crisscross poles. So again, I'm going to cross my arms at the bottom, and as I come up, the arms uncross. All right, we take off in about 10 seconds. Good, it's starting. Mm -hmm. I cross as I come back down. A nice tall posture at the top. I'm trying not to arch the back. Keeping those abdominal muscles engaged and all our postural muscles engaged. So we're sitting up nice and tall. Looks good. More than halfway there. Last 10 seconds. Right. Okay, that's the first series. So go ahead and get a drink of water if you like to. Um, we're gonna take off at the top um, in about 30 seconds with those seated cr crunches. Again, you can do all these exercises with or without the weights. For a little added bonus, those crunches, we add the weights in to give a little more resistance. And we'll take off in about 10 seconds, all right?
Um, leaning back and coming into that forward position. Good, halfway there. And down to our last 10 seconds. All right. So getting ready for those high pulls. And with this one, my palms face back towards the wall behind me. We take off in about 10 seconds. Sitting up nice and tall, elbows uh, stay high with this one. Um, pulling up and nice and slow as we return back down to the ground. Looks good. About halfway there. And I always say when you're doing an exercise, there should be a pause at the top of the movement and a pause at the bottom of the movement. And that keeps us from using our momentum to carry through. Good. And then getting ready for those flutter kicks next. We take off in about 10 seconds. Good, leaning back and crisscross. Halfway there. Last 10 seconds. All right, and 30 seconds, and then we have uh, those crosses with the weights. So. Crossing at the bottom and coming up into that nice tall posture and back down. Good. Uh, looks good. Halfway there. Good. 
Give it last 10 seconds. It looks so good, everyone. All right, go ahead and get a drink of water. Um, we'll come back in about 30 seconds and we'll go over that next series of exercises. All right, so the second series of exercises are gonna be in a standing position, uh, more of like um, coordinating upper and lower extremity movement, working a little bit on balance as well. Um, that first one that we'll do is um, alternating standing marches with a lat pull down. Um, then we'll head into a uh, lunge, so a backwards lunge um, with a front arm raise. And then the last one, we're going to do a floor to overhead pull. Okay. And I'll show you what these look like. With all of them, you have the option to do them in a seated position as well, if you'd like. Okay. So the first one. We're going to get our weights, um, bring our arms up into a field goal position. And I'm going to pull down with one arm as I'm bringing that opposite leg up. into that starting position. And this will be the first one. Um, you can also do it if you need to help with the, the balance. So holding on with one hand, opposite comes up and we just do one side at a time if you need to. And then you can switch to the opposite side um, with the second set or in that seated position, same thing, arms up and then the legs just alternate with the arms. Okay. Uh, the second one, we're going to do alternating lunges with a front arm raise. So with this one, I'm going to step backwards into my lunge position. So I'm going to step backwards, lunge, back up, arms come up into that shoulder height, then opposite leg steps back, up, front arm raise. Okay. You can also do it holding on to the chair as well. In that seated position, same thing. I, um, I can step backwards into this position here. Bring the leg up, arms up, okay? And last one, we're gonna do a floor to overhead pull. So I'm gonna set down the weight to the ground. So I set it down, same side, up, opposite arm is gonna come across body, pull up, overhead, okay? A um, couple different modifications here. If I can't do a full ground to overhead, I can use my chair, right? So I set it down onto the chair, back up, opposite hand cross body, and pull overhead. So that overhead. So as I pull overhead, coming up. Um, and then, of course, in the seated ver uh, version, you can do it sitting down as well. All right. We will take off here. So starting in that standing position. Whatever modification you need in order to be safe, but still get a challenge, okay? So the arms are up in that field goal position. We're gonna pull down as the opposite leg comes up. 
And starting. Good. Halfway there. Last 10 seconds. All right. So about 30 seconds will take off. Again, we have those backwards lunges. So I'm gonna alternate as I stand up, arms come up to the shoulder height, then the opposite leg comes back and up. And we take off in about 10 seconds. So we're getting back. Arms come up. And opposite side. Up. Good, everybody. Looks so good. More than halfway there. Last 10 seconds. Yeah. And next, just the one hand weight for this one, we have that floor um, to overhead pull. You can do it with either the modification of in the chair sitting down or with the chair so that we don't have to bend all the way down to the ground, okay? Again, whatever is gonna feel challenging while still being safe for you. And we take off in about 10 seconds. Good. And set the weight down, same side of the body, back up, opposite arms going to reach across body, overhead. The weight comes down on the same side, up, cross body reach, and overhead. Good. Down, reaching across, up, down, same side. Reaching across, up, more than halfway there. It's good. Last 10 seconds. All right. And go ahead and get a drink of water. And we'll start again with the uh, next at the top in about 30 seconds. So taking off in about 10 seconds. Again, we're going to be in that field goal position with our marches, opposite arm, opposite leg. About five more seconds to take off. Take that last opportunity for myself to shake the shoulders out. 
good. Um, and this one's working a lot of different systems here. Of course, challenging our balance. Working on that coordination between our crossbody, between our arms and our legs. And then strengthening those lat muscles that are so important for posture. Good. Last 10. All right. And coming up, we have those reverse lunges with a front arm raise. Take off in about 10 seconds. Good, step them backwards, all the way tall, arms up to the shoulder height, and then switching legs. Good. Looks good. Halfway there. Last ten. Good. And dropping one of those weights, about 30 seconds we take off with the last one, that floor to overhead pull. And we take off in about 10 seconds. And again, when I set down the weight, I set it down on the same side. When I pick it up, I'm crossing my body with the opposite arm. So same side, set down, up, reaching across my body, and lifting up overhead. Same side. And overhead. Good, halfway there. Last 10 seconds. All right. We made it. All right, good job, everybody. Um, go ahead and get a drink of water. Uh, we'll go over the power series moves here in a little bit. Um, today, they're going to be on our back. Lying in that supine position. Um, so we'll need our floor mats. In about 30 seconds, we'll go over what those look like.
All right. Looks like just about everybody's back. So again, that power series is gonna be in that supine position or um, lying on your back position. Um, starting, actually probably better if you guys from this position, you can see me a little better. So lying on our back, we're gonna start with our power up. For this one, so I'd like to start with my arms in an extended position, and then I'm gonna push back into the back of my arms and through my heels. And when I push back, I'm gonna slightly lift my chest and my legs off of the ground. So coming up to this position and back down. And that's our power up for our power rock. I can use, if I want, uh, my opposite leg to give me a little bit of leverage. So I have my right leg in a bent position. My left arm is gonna reach at a diagonal. And then I come back down and now I can bring the opposite leg up and reach in the diagonal in the opposite direction. So that's my power rock. My power twists, I'm gonna open up nice and wide into that T position for twists. Again, if I need to, I can use my leg to give me a little bit of leverage to turn my body. And then you open, opposite leg comes up, and you turn your body. Good. And then that last one, our um, power step, I'm going to bring both legs in into a bent position, and I'm going to step reach back into that center um, starting position and step reach in the opposite position here. Okay. Um, with our power up, we'll, we'll do 10 with the other where we're alternating in between the right and left. We'll do five on each side. So we'll still do, um, 10 total. Always have the option to do it in the seated position. We go through most of those positions in our warm up. So that power up with the, the hands to the thighs coming up big and fast. Um, the power rock leaning and kicking out and then, um, power twists opening twist, open, and then our power step in that seated position, step and reach back together. So always an option to do it in that seated position. Um, for those of you that are going to join me down at the ground, we'll get started first with that power up, and we'll do them all together, um, 10 repetitions, and then at the end, we're going to link them together into our flow, and we'll do, I'll go through and show you once, and then we'll do five of those together, okay? So starting with that power up, arms out, bringing them down and up. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right. Next, we have our power rock. So I'm going to rock and then back in the opposite direction. That's two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, next we're going into that power twist. We want to bring the arms out nice and wide into that T position. And I'm going to twist, bring the hands together and out and opposite side. That's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
eight, nine, ten. All right. Last one is our power step. So we're going to bend both legs and we're going to step and reach out to the side together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And um, the last thing that we'll do before a cool down is just a power flow. So with the power flow, we do all four of the power moves in succession. Um, with this one, we go straight from that power up into our power rock, into our twists, and into our steps in our left right positions. Okay. So I'll show you once what it looks like, and then I'll have you guys join me for five reps. Okay. So that first one, do power up into our rock and rock out into our T for twists and twists. Good, and bringing it all in and step together, step together. Good, and we'll do five more. So arms come up, power up, and we rock left and right. And out for our twists and twists. Good, bringing the arms and legs into our body. Step together, step together. That's one, straight into that power up again. And rock and rock. Out to the T. Twist and twist and step together, step together. That's two into our power up and our rock and twist. Twist. And then step together, step together. We got two more. Power up, good, and rock, and rock, and out, twist, and twist. Good, bring it in, step together, step together. And last one, up, power, up, and rock, and rock, and out, twist, and twist. Good, bring it in, step, together, step, together, all right. And last thing we have is just our, our cool down, some stretches. So we'll go ahead and get up back into our chairs. And we'll start in a seated position. We'll stretch out our upper neck and shoulders. So first sit up. Um, I'm gonna stretch my right side of my neck and shoulder first. I'm gonna bring that right hand and as, use it as an anchor on my chair so that my shoulder doesn't shrug up. My left ear is going to come down towards my left shoulder. 
and bring it in that down position. If you need to, you can give some extra over pressure. And again, you should feel that stretch on the right side. Good. Now we'll switch sides. So my left hand's gonna be the anchor underneath the chair. Right ear goes towards my right shoulder. Can use my left hand if I need a little bit of overpressure. Right, stretching out the back of the shoulder. I'm gonna bring my right arm across my body. My left arm is gonna hug it into my body just above where my elbow is. So you should feel that stretch in the back of my, on that right shoulder. With the left wrist, we'll do some um, circles. Clockwise position, and then we'll switch into the counterclockwise. And switch in that direction. And then we'll switch sides. So now I'm gonna bring my left arm across my body. I'm gonna hug it in with my right arm just above that elbow. And we'll do wrist circles on the left arm. And then reversing those circles. Right. Ah, stretching the back of the thigh. We're gonna bring one leg out all the way straight. Um, we don't wanna have a bend in the knee um, because in order to feel a stretch, we gotta elongate that muscle. And if we're bending at the knee, that's shortening the muscle. So from that position, I'm gonna bend forward a little bit with my body and reach down towards my toes if I'd like, just for that feedback. Um, but you should feel that stretch in the back of your leg. And what we're doing with our stretches, your body will let you know whether or not you're doing it right. Um, it should never feel like pain. It should always feel like just a good moderate stretch. And then we'll switch sides. So now that left leg's all the way straight. And bending forward till we feel that stretch on the back of the thigh. Good. And sitting up tall, we'll bring one knee in, hugging it in towards our chest. Um, if it hurts you to put um, to hug in on the front of the leg, we can always do it behind the knee in that position there. Whichever is going to feel the most comfortable while still getting a stretch in the back of the hip there. And then we'll do our ankle circles just like we did with our wrists. And then reversing those circles. Good. And then switching opposite side. And reversing. And 
all right last one we'll do for today um we'll end on that butterfly stretch um so for this one we're going to interlace our fingers we're going to put our hands onto the back of our neck um the elbows are going to fold in towards each other as we round at our back and we can exhale our breath in this down position as we sit up nice and tall, we're gonna draw the elbows apart and we'll take a breath in. So elbows come in together, rounding at the spine, exhaling our breath, and then up nice and tall, pulling the elbows apart. We feel that stretch in the front part of our chest. And back down. And we'll do three more. Good. And down. And last one as we round elbows together. And up nice and tall. And that's all I have for you today.